Great. It's that guy I only have one thing in common with. Hey, Peter. How about that gay encounter we had? God, every time with this guy. I'm gonna take the stairs. Oh, my God. I'm never gonna get up these stairs. Okay. It's all right. I do this every week in the opening credits. All right, let's see. How does that go? Lucky there's a family guy. Lucky there's a man who positively can do. Was Labyrinth a good movie? I can't remember. I don't want to watch it again, though. Seems like a chore. All right, even Slinky from accounting can make it up the stairs. Don't forget to turn in your time card, Peter. What are you, allergic to money? <laughs> no, no, I want to get paid. Just forgot. Ugh, look at me. I haven't felt this out of shape since I took surfing lessons. meeting of our Women's Creative Writing Workshop. Ladies. Okay, Donna, you want to read yours? Oh, I didn't do mine. Wh well, then you can't have any more snacks. You just can't. Well, I guess it's my turn. The doors blew open as if some magical force had been expecting her. Louise belonged here, if only because this is where Horatio called home. Then, through the vegetation and past the mist that sprinkled her heaving bosom, she saw him. Horatio, with his long, flowing hair blowing in the breeze, his cape fluttering, tighter than she'd ever been held before, a way in which her husband, Palter, had not held her since before they were married. Horatio then took Louise by the hand, leading her out to his stables as her bosom heaved. Louise's mind was racing in anticipation of the dirty hay sex that was gonna most definitely happen. They spent the next 18 minutes fighting off sneezes in the throes of ecstasy. Heaving bosom. Damn, that's steamy, Lois. Really? Uh, yeah, really. Whew. Anybody mind if I open me? Ah. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I've been here all day and I can't move. I got it. I'll do what James Franco did in 127 hours. UCLA admissions office. Yes, I'd like to enroll in a couple of classes so I can have sex with girls not old enough to get into bars. Peter, I heard you're in some trouble. You hang on, Peter. I'll come up and save you. Stairs. Why'd it have to be stairs? Yeah. Uh, uh. 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 I can't do it. Here, you're just gonna have to kill me. Wait, look, Joe. A lever to turn the stairs into a slide. Damn it, Peter. It's just a little water. What's it gonna hurt? Oh, God. Delete. History. No! 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 You caused millions of dollars worth of water damage. All because you couldn't make it up the stairs. Oh, man. This means I'm the work fatty. Haven't been this embarrassed since I forgot about the silent part in George Michael's face. I've started using these pills called Stiff for Hours from the gas station. Cause I gotta have faith. Mm, I gotta have faith. Dog walking into a room. There's food left on the table and the owners aren't around. Just gonna do a little pause on the table, side of the mouth dog eating. A Stable Affair by Lois Griffin. Okay, another writer in the house. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is basically a guide to what Lois is looking for in a lover. Check this out. Lois is writing a romance novel about a woman who is unhappy with her husband and begins to have a torrid affair with a caped lover who has horses. This could finally be my key to- the what? Banging my mom? You know, you are the worst. Ladies. Ah, uh, you guys, this is so embarrassing. All this happened because I'm too fat to make it up some stairs. Peter, you gotta lose weight. All right, we'll help you, Peter. But we're doing it Quagsbury rules. What's that? A woman, or in this case, a man, has to do anything I say, no questions asked. Anything, I promise. My dearest Lois, I've taken Quagmire's place as a Union soldier in the Civil War. Shortly after I arrived, they amputated my leg. 
I dared them to, and it was a big mistake. The other guy in my tent is a wet dead guy. Yours, Peter. All right, Peter, today we start helping you lose weight. First, let me just make sure you're not hiding any food in your clothes. Taste. Taste. Taste the rainbow. Peter, are you hiding Skittles in your pants? When I turned about 40, it started breaking up into two. Weekend plan? Please don't talk to me. I need to focus. Good morrow. What is the, uh, up to? Brian, is that your horse? Why, why did you get a horse? Oh, I've been an equus for a while. Just my trusty steed here. We have a special connection. Me being an equestrianist and everything. Well, the costs are meager when you're able to dominate and control the beast with just the slightest glance. Stop it. Ha <laughs> ha, what? This is nuts. And I... Oh! Never walk behind a horse. You would have to hate horses not to know that. Being one with nature. <laughs> a mutual bond of trust. <laughs> Different species, same heart. <laughs> Welcome to CrossFit, Peter. How's it different from a regular gym? Do regular gyms have open garage doors where members' large dogs can charge innocent civilians? No, I, I guess not. Okay, to start, why don't you go meet the owner, Jace, over there? He'll help maximize your nutrition regimen. Tell me, what's your favorite kind of food? Pizza. <laughs> oh, man. What? <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you can't eat pizza. Oh, Peter, you're home from CrossFit. Here, have some pizza. Oh, <laughs> You know what, isn't that? It's like, <laughs> it's very bad. Okay, Peter, a good and conspicuous workout is to do lunges on the sidewalk. Just do like I do. Step. Uh-huh. Step. Uh-huh. Step. Okay, Peter, whatever you do, don't look down the hole. I look down the hole. Oh, I got a sense of what's down there. Okay, okay, whatever you do, do not dip your cupped hand in the water. Oh, God, I'm doing it. Oh, God, what is wrong with me? The chemicals in the water are not breaking down the integrity of these movements. Okay, Peter, you can quit pretending. The workout's over. Thanks. I was just in there checking my phone. Whatever you do, do not open your eyes underwater. I thought we were going to get a $10 scoop of ice cream with all the millennials who can afford $10 scoops of ice cream but can't afford to move out of their parents' house. We are, but first I need to pick up this wine that Lois mentioned in her story. Where is that part about the wine? Uh, Brian, everything you read just happened to us. I think her book is about the grocery store. Oh. My. God. What? It's the guy, Horatio, from Lois's book. She's fantasizing about having an affair with this guy. Or, who knows, maybe even is having an affair with him. You've gained 12 pounds. Looks like we're gonna have to take more drastic measures. Peter, say you're not gonna have sex with me. What? Just say it. I'm not gonna have sex with you. Ah! Now, you said you would do whatever's necessary to help you lose weight. Please, let me out! Glenn, is it okay if I stay the night? Oh! I'm so hungry. Let me out. I'll tell you what. First guy that lets me out gets his own spinoff. Not you, Cleveland. Sorry, Peter. This is for your own good. I just want to be free. Like a recently divorced man with no kids. This is nice. This is better. Stewie, I can't believe it. I mean, do you, do you think Lois could be having an affair with this Horatio guy? Brian, will you watch Stewie? I have to go get groceries. I won't be back until later tonight. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, my God, Stewie, she's going to the store and won't be back until tonight? Do you know what that means? Disguises? Shigoto ni madoru. Nikai ni wa oku no shinshi ga matai musu. I'll meet you there, Brian. I've got to finish my shift. All right, Peter. Now, I know you haven't eaten in a while, so this is something called the pocket diet. Okay, guys, empty your pockets. Whatever you got in there, he eats. Uh, Glenn, can we go somewhere and just talk for a minute? Oh, my God. He's getting in the car. He's going in for a hug. They're hugging? This is insane. I know. This guy... This guy is a star. 
Ah, great. Just great. Lois, don't do it! Brian, what the hell are you doing here? Don't do what? Don't have sex with Horatio. It's not worth it. What are you talking about? Look, I found your book and read it. I thought that you wrote everything you were looking for in a lover. And if I could embody some of those things, maybe I would have a shot with you. Wait, let me get this straight. You, without asking, read something I wrote? Then thinking I was revealing all my most intimate wants and desires, you thought that you could exploit what you read to seduce me? But when you thought I might be cheating with someone other than yourself, you found that and only that morally objectionable? And you bring Stewie here who doesn't understand any of this? He's special. He's learning disabled. I like Coldplay. Oh. I'm not having an affair with him, Brian. I volunteered at the special needs living facility and Horatio happened to like horses, so once a week I take him to the stables. And the cape is from a Darth Vader costume he had as a kid. Ugh, I never thought a dog could be such a genuine piece of human garbage. Lois, I'm truly sorry for what I thought. It all just made sense to me at the time, but now that I see what it is, I'm ashamed of myself. I hope you can find it in your heart. Hey, Brian. <laughs> Joe in Cleveland, are you ready to see your new Peter? What do you guys think? I don't believe it. I'm speechless. <laughs> wow, looking good, Peter. Because I will do this 100%. My wife's in, too. I'll call her. We'll do the whole thing. Hey, Lois, I got a two-top. Okay. She's out, but I'm still in.